William Marshall on behalf of the city of Belton. And you're Jeffrey Pearson, sir, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you're the defendant in this case? Yes, sir. Okay. And this matter is on for uh, hearing today. Yeah. Are there any preliminary matters you're going to take up before we turn that up this morning? Judge, I've delivered to the bench a uh, certified copy of the ordinances. Uh, William Marshall on behalf of the city of Belton. Penalty, of penalty of ordinance under which we're proceeding, and then copies of the yes, two uh, charges that... Uh, Yes, sir. Pending against Mr. Pearson. I concur. I, I concur. Yes. Judge, I've delivered to no. the bench a certified copy of the ordinance, uh, the ordinance and the penalty ordinance under which we're proceeding, and then copies yes, sir. of I, I, two uh, charges. I filed three motions with the clerk about uh, motion to compel uh, the EMTs. I concur. And I. I uh, <laughs> I, I, I yes. looked on CaseNet and they never showed up, no. and I, I didn't know if you ever got a hold of those. Should have fucking objected. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. I'm not in my right mind. Be, I tried uh, to fucking get a continuance. I, 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 the uh, chief of police, I was the fire the chief, wouldn't let me have access to them. I got railroaded. I, uh, I, I, I looked on CaseNet and they never showed up, and I, I didn't know if you ever got a hold of those. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Can, can, can we? Because uh, I, I could, the, the chief of police, or not the chief of police, the, the fire chief, wouldn't let me have access to them. On your motions for subpoenas and depositions, what do you want to tell them? Well, I, uh, it's they're going to be hostile witnesses, but it's crucial to my defense that I have them here because it's. You know, it'll be apparent at the time because it's going to contradict a lot of the stuff that uh, is said and done. And I just think it's, a, it's you know, for me to defend myself properly, I really, really need to, uh, you know, depose them. And, so what do you want me to do? Well, I, I, I was hoping to get a continuance until I can, uh, if you can make an order to compel them, to, can, to tell the fire chief to, uh, or the fire chief that I can, have access to them to serve the subpoenas that I have because I couldn't serve the subpoenas to them because they wouldn't allow, they threatened to trespass me at the building if I came back and I filed a police report on it and I just, so I just, I just filed the motion because I didn't want to go back and get arrested and it's, it's crucial to my defense, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Marshall, response. Judge, uh, I'm not sure what subpoenas he's talking about. He did file some kind of a motion with the clerk that doesn't follow the usual form for have have issues uh, or subpoenas issued. I didn't find anything uh, that showed that subpoenas were actually issued to him. So I don't know what he was actually trying to serve at the fire department. Your Honor, the, I, oh, excuse sorry, me. Sorry, sorry. Finish. The whatever witnesses he would call would, I'm sure, appear on this video, and I don't think it, their testimony is going to help him any. That the video and the officer's testimony here should be sufficient. All right, All right Mr. Pearson. Can, can I say one more thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm back. I want okay. to answer my question. Did you come to the clerk's office and get I, actual copies of subpoenas? And get yes, them yes, sir, I did. Yes, sir, I did. Okay. And I and I, I can I, I I don't have them today. I have my mother's car. My car's in the shop, but it, and it's got my briefcase in it. But I I have them and. I did, sir, and I did fill them out, and I did serve them, and I, I have, I, I have the right to cross-examine, you know, witnesses, and these guys, well, well, you know, during the trial, it'll become apparent why they're so important and crucial. Let me, let me first of all, want to make sure we're clear on this. I, I don't, you don't have those subpoenas with you today, so I can't look at them. I don't know what you have. Okay. I, um, second of all, uh, if you have those subpoenas have brought them with you today, and just because you have a subpoena doesn't mean that somebody has to let you onto their property. You can wait till you know if, if you're trying to serve. I guess you're trying to serve somebody at the fire department. Yes, sir. That's the only the only address I had on file okay, for well, those two gentlemen. You can just wait until they get off work and leave and, and try to subpoena them. That would take me being at the parking lot, and I didn't want to. I just didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to look like a stalker. But you're on. I'm, I'm pretty confident that the parking lot and the fire department is all surrounded by public streets. So 
Your Honor, you might be correct, but my time is limited, too. I got like a, you get to, you know, I couldn't wait there all day. I'm not sure what time they get off. They were not very cooperative. And, Your Honor, I would just, it would be, it would be very unfair if I can't cross-examine, I can't cross-examine what you see on a video. And, I, and, you know, I could, I understand I could cross-examine her, but that's going to be, I just find it very unfair that I can't, that, that, that I, that we proceed today without me at least being able to have them here as my witnesses. And this has been set for several weeks, I assume? Yes, Your Honor. I think it was set, well, we set it for trial back July 25th. It's been on file here. I can't remember if it was continued beyond that. The filing, filing date originally was May 16th, 24, what I'm showing on my file. So that would be. Your Honor, this would be my first continuance. He continued it last time. All right. Well, in any event, I'm going to overrule and deny your motions. It is incumbent upon you, if you're representing yourself, to follow the proper procedures, hire a private process server, do whatever you need to do to get subpoenas and things served, served with subpoenas and into the courtroom. That burden falls on you. So both of those motions will be overruled and denied. So we're going to go ahead with the trial, all right? All right, Mr. Marshall, you can call your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Dr. Ray's right hand. You saw Ms. Hoyt's testimony. You've asked me if it's caused me the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I'll be gone. I do. Have a seat. Mr. Marshall, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Could you state your name, please, ma'am? Police Officer Raven Morris. You're a Belt, Missouri police officer. Is that correct? Correct. And on the 7th of December of 2023, at about 1.36 in the afternoon, were you called to an address at 6801 East 163rd Street in Belton, Cass County, Missouri? I was. What is located there? Casey's. And when you arrived, did you speak with the defendant at some point? I did. And do you recognize the defendant, Mr. Pearson, in the courtroom here? I do, yep. Sitting right there. All right. Let the record reflect that she's pointing to the counsel table. The record will so reflect. And what was the reason why you were making contact with Mr. Pearson? So I was dispatched to that address for a medical assist. Dispatch had informed me that someone had called 911, stating that Mr. Pearson was feeling sick and hadn't slept for three days. And so there was already an ambulance on the way to come give him medical attention. When you arrived at the address, did you arrive in a marked police vehicle? I did. And were you dressed in your uniform? I was. And when you spoke with Mr. Pearson, did you identify yourself as a police officer? I believe so, yeah. It would have been obvious to him that, in fact, you were a Belton, Missouri police officer. Wouldn't that be true? Right. And then when the ambulance arrived, was there some interaction between Mr. Pearson and the ambulance personnel? There was. Did they take him in and try to treat him for something? Yes. So initially, they were inside the store looking for Mr. Pearson, but we were actually outside kind of on the east side corner of the store. And they had come outside. They made contact with him. He initially refused to go with them. So their procedure is they ask them a few questions, make sure their state of mind is okay, and then have them sign something refusing treatment, and then they go about their business. During the interaction, Mr. Pearson had decided that he did want to seek medical treatment, so we all went inside the ambulance. And did they run some tests on him that you witnessed? Yes, they checked just kind of basic vital testing, like blood pressure, heart rate, things like that. And then at some point, did he attempt to leave the ambulance? Yes. And at that point, was he instructed that he needed to sign some documents before he could leave? Yes. So the medics weren't quite finished with their vitals, and he also, they needed him to sign their tablet saying that he was refusing treatment. Okay. So was he willing to sign that document before he left? No. And did you instruct him that he couldn't leave unless he signed the documents? Yes. And 
What was his reaction when you advised him that he wasn't quite free to leave yet? Uh, he became upset and he stood up and I asked him to sit back down to let the medics at least finish their vitals because uh, at that point I was under the impression that he still had the finger monitor, the heart rate monitor on. Um, and then he approached me, uh, pushed past me, and opened up the ambulance door. All right. And did he strike you at some point? He didn't strike me, but he did push into me, which caused me to kind of lose my balance backwards. All right. And uh, you have, uh, you were at the time wearing a, a body camera, is that correct? Correct. Part of your uniform? Yep. That camera is capable of taking and recording video of uh, an episode? Yes. Is that correct? It's also, with, with the equipment at the police department, capable of uh, retrieving that recording, preserving that recording, and then transferring it to portable media? Correct. And you've seen your body camera video that uh, was part of this incident, is that correct? Correct. And is it fair and accurate depiction of what occurred on that date? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, at this point, I would like to play a portion of the video. I've advanced it to a part point uh, which I think is the most relevant. Uh, and let the record reflect that. I uh, submitted a copy of that video when we were here last time to the defendant. And uh, with the court's permission, I'll push play. Mr. Pearson, you, you held up a, like a thumb drive. Yeah, I got a thumb drive. Uh, so you, you, wait a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the, I, I admit that he gave that to me, you yes. You acknowledge that you have previously received yeah. a copy of this video. Yes, Your Honor, okay. yes. So do you have any legal objection to the uh, seeing this video? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a chance to testify here in a little bit and ask questions. Can, can, I, can, can, can I play my video? I've, I've turned well, it in. Well, let's get to your case first. Okay. You, you're going to get your side. Okay. 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 Right. Judge, I've marked the envelope that it comes in as Exhibit 2, and I'll offer it at this time. All right. And City's Exhibit 2 will be admitted into evidence, and <clears throat> without objection, you can play the video. Thank you, Your Honor. Recreation of the events on that particular day? Yes. No further questions. All right, sir. Do you have any questions? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you know the rule. This is your time to ask her questions. If you think that she's satisfied to you or that you heard there, that will not be the next day. We'll give you a chance to talk about your report. Okay, I understand. Can, can, can I use the. I know I can use his video, but can I use my, my own video? To, Yes, it's the same. It's, it, uh, yeah, it, includes, it includes other body cameras, too. I mean, well, you can get to that when you get to your face right now. You know, it's not asking any questions. Okay. Can I approach? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Well, a little under. 
prepared today. Okay. So when you got the call, it wasn't about a disturbance, somebody else complaining about me, correct? Correct. It was me calling on myself, trying to get help. I'm not sure if it was you calling or somebody else, but it was to assist medics. Okay. And on your written statement, you said that, what did you say? You said that, I don't have it in front of me. This is just, you said, you said that you, you said that you had to re-watch the body camera, correct? Correct. In your statement, you said you had to re-watch the body camera, like before you, before you knew, because you weren't sure if I assaulted you or not, correct? Did you feel assaulted whenever I brushed past you? So that part that I think you're referencing is when I was unsure if you had kicked me, but I was for certain that you had pushed me, yes. Did I push you, did I push you or did I put, or did I push past the guy with the clipboard in front of me that, because if we slow down the video, we can see that your arm was in the way of the, of the bar. I had no way of getting out. I said, am I free to leave? You said, no, I needed to sign something, correct? Correct. Okay. And your arm, if you go in slow motion on this video, you will see you go like this because you let me go past you. I had no reason to push past you. Excuse me. You object to this as testifying without asking? I am. I'm, 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 I'm getting to the point. I'm getting to the question. Did, did you let me go past you? Like once you seen that I was, that I was coming towards you, did you lift your arm off the bar to let me go past? I'm sure I lifted my arm, but I was standing on the stairs. And as you know, the ambulance stairs aren't very wide. Exactly. And I was standing in front of the door and then you open the door. You, your body made contact with mine. Was I free to leave at that moment? Legally, was I free to leave? So I was under the impression that you still had that finger monitor on, which is property of the fire department. So you can't just leave without that. And plus I did want you to sign the tablet saying you refused treatment. Okay. And isn't it true that when you, when, after this, when this whole incident came, came to pass and your fellow officers, you know, emerged on the scene, right? Did they not, did you, you were not, I'm sorry. You did not assist you, you, when you, when they arrived, who were the aggressors? Uh, like, uh, you or the, or the EMTs who was holding me down? It was mostly EMTs. So when you feel assaulted, you didn't, you didn't at any time offer to cuff me or say I was under arrest at any time, correct? Yeah, you're right. Correct. And in fact, your superior, when your superior officer came, he specifically asked you, did he ever physically touch you? And do you remember your answer? Not off the top of my head. No, it was, I don't really know. Does that sound familiar? I don't know. I'd have to refer back to my report. Well, your honor, if I may present this, I could show you, or if actually, if you go a little forward, you could see that that's exactly what happens. And can't man go forward on this tape here. You can see it plain as day. Yes, sir. It's when the other officers arrived. Yes, sir. Okay. Right here. You can stop. So for now, may I continue? Okay. So 
when you feel assaulted, you and he asked you specifically, did he ever put his hands on you? Correct. And you said something about my legs. That was long after the EMTs have wrestled me down, correct? I wouldn't say it was long after. Okay, but it was during. And when your fellow officers arrived, if I had the other body cameras, would you agree that you were standing aside, not assisting them in this wrestling match, correct? In this what? I'm sorry. In this wrestling match that was going on between them and wrestling me to the ground, you were safely set to the side, correct? You were standing to the side of it. And as they were emerging, you were not a part of restraining me, correct? I'm not sure when you're talking about, like when you were handcuffed? Or... Did you, did, what, okay. At any time, did you offer to handcuff me? Did you offer, in fact, when you, when you're, when you're, sorry, I don't know his name, but this, this, this Sergeant Gibson. William Marshall. Yeah, Sergeant Gibson. Wasn't it his decision to charge me with assault, not yours? Because you did say at one point, can we charge him for not signing the medical thing? Because you didn't feel assaulted, did you? Judge, I'm going to look at the match, the certified copy of the ordinance. The ordinance and the penalty ordinance are worth proceeding, and then copies of the two charges. Okay, was it your decision to, to, was it your decision or your Sergeant's decision to charge me with assault? My Sergeant, I told him what had happened, and he said to go forward with taking him into custody. And didn't you not say after, like, after that, you could charge him with not signing the clips? I don't recall. I don't recall. I can show you if he was charged with assault. I don't recall. 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 I
No, I, 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 I can't think of anything more at this time. Any redirect, Mr. Marshall? City rest, Judge. Thank you, Mr. Stepdown. The city has concluded their case, Mr. Pearson, for the would you like to testify now and tell me your side of the story? Yeah, sure. All right, come on up to the witness stand. If you would stop there for me and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give this cause to be the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? I do. All right, have a seat. And for the record, sir, please state your full name. Jeffrey Michael Pearson. And Mr. Pearson, you're the defendant in this case, is that correct? Yes. And you're here today for the trial of this matter, is that correct? Yes. All right, tell me what you want me to know about uh, this incident. Your Honor, I I have been I take uh, powerful medications. I take Xanax, uh, Suboxone. I'm on all sorts of different medications, and on this particular day and event, I had been without it. I called I called the um, I I called an ambulance on myself for help, and when I when the when the help arrived, she arrived first. And then me and her talked, and then we, and then the ambulance arrived, and the, and the and the EMTs immediately, they were very aggressive towards me, and I just wasn't feeling it. And they, and I, and, and I walked on the ambulance, and I immediately, I said, I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. Am I free to leave? And when the officer said, No, you need to sign that and sit down. I, I knew right then that. I just know I, I, I need to leave. And when I saw her arm, I know she was standing in front of the stairwell. And when I saw her move her arm, that was my cue. If I brushed into her and he had the clipboard in front, he had the clipboard in front of me like this. And I believe that he was trying to cover her body camera or something. But uh, I, I just, I, all I did was I just, I, I walked. As soon as I seen her arm go, I figured that was my cue to leave. So I walked down, and the, next, and the first thing I, I felt was the back of my shirt get tugged. And if, you know, the slowing down the video, you can see that EMTs initiated it. She was just a bystander, really. And they, and when he started yelling, you, the EMT started yelling, you shouldn't have pushed the officer. You shouldn't have pushed the, pushed the officer. I believe that was her cue. Uh, excuse me, this is nothing but speculation now, Judge. I, I was there. I, Go ahead. Uh, I, 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 when he, he started yelling, you, you shouldn't push the officer, you shouldn't push, push the officer. Uh, I, knew, I, I knew what was happening, and I started yelling for help because I just, I, I thought I was, I mean, I felt, I, I've, been, I've been awake for three days and got, because of the Xanax. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. That's why I tried to call an ambulance in the first place. And... I just got attacked by EMTs, and EMTs usually are like really hands off and trying to help. But this guy had it out for me, and I just think that it's 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 uh, you know she wasn't the arresting officer. She wasn't she she the, her sergeant was the one that called the shot. And, you know she was at, she was inquiring, can't we just arrest him for not signing the thing? So I just think that proves that she you know in my opinion. You know, it, 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 I, I, I never assaulted her. I never, I never felt, I never intended to, to touch her. It was at such a tight quarters. I just needed to get past her. And I, that's, that's all I can say, Your Honor. I, I did not, I, I did not, like, intentionally do any physically. And if I, if I touched her with my leg, it was long after the EMTs were wrestling with, where it had control of my body, you know, and, I would never assault an officer. I would, I, I would never do that. I just was trying to get off. And, and that's all I got to say. Else? I, no, hands on. And I give it to you. Okay. Cross-examination. Do you suffer from a medical condition of some kind? I suffer from many uh, so medical conditions. Okay. And is that the reason why you take all these medications? Yes, sir. They're prescribed? Yes, sir. The time you testified, you've been awake for three days. Yes. Safe to say that you weren't exactly in your right mind when all this was going on. No, oh, yeah. Well, your Honor, uh, or I mean, your Honor, uh, sir, I was in my right mind enough to know I needed help. Okay, understood. So, what uh, what medical condition did you? Uh, are there psychological problems? I, I've got anxiety. I've got uh, I've got ADHD, anxiety. I've got substance abuse problems. I've got all sorts of problems. But uh, but that particular day, I was sane enough to know. You know what? I need help, and I did not get help. I got attacked.
let's talk about what the EMTs required of you in order for you to be released. They needed you to sign something, right? Correct. You wouldn't do it, would you? That's, that's, uh, that's, yeah, no, I'm not going to sign nothing. No, I, I, that's, that's not illegal. But you were, you were advised by the officer that you were not free to leave until you did sign it. Yes, it? but I know the law, and I know that she, and I asked her, am I free to leave? And you, she said, sit back down, and I said, no, I have to go. And as soon as I seen her move her arm, as I knew that I, I figured that's my cue. If she would have, you know, I, 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 she, how could she keep me there? I knew she, and she even said later, she said, can't we, can't we arrest him for not signing the thing? So she, it's kind of apparent that she was only on the force three months. She, she didn't know, and I understand that, but I never assaulted her. I never assaulted her. I would never purposely, intentionally touch an officer. I, I just wouldn't. I know the consequences of that. I've got too much, I, I got, I'm on too many medications, too much to lose to do that. And I, if you, I, it's obvious. How is she going to, she, she knows she's when she's assaulted. She did not act as an assaulted officer. An assaulted officer does not stand by and not offer help. Why, they initiated it, and her other officers finished it after the fact. And, she, and, and still, she didn't want it. She knows she did not want it. I mean, in my opinion, she did not want to arrest me for assault. That was on another officer that wasn't there, didn't see it. The fact remains, she told you you were not free to leave, and you tried to leave anyway. Isn't that correct? That is correct. And when you, when you did attempt to leave, you pushed into her in order to get out of the ambulance. Isn't that correct? That is not correct. I pushed past the clipboard that was in front of me, and if that hit her, that, that, that didn't hit her. If that touch, brushed the side of her at such a tight quarters, all I saw was her hand move because she was blocking me at one point. As soon as she goes like that, I knew I was free to leave because the, the EMT was like this, trying to, and, I, and in, my, in my state of mind, I was being cornered. I just needed to leave, and I was free to leave legally, and I just was waiting for her to get out of my way. As soon as she got out of my way, I, 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 I went for the door. I even got the door open, and then the EMTs grabbed me first. In your her. state of mind? In my state of mind, yes, Thank I needed you. to I get no away. Questions. You've answered my question. Thank you. No, I, I'm, I'm not guilty. Okay, I understand. That's your position. Go ahead and have a seat. Do you have any other witnesses you want to call? Or? I, I, I want to call the EMT. I can't. Okay. So is that all the evidence you have? That's, that's all I got. All right. Very good. Mr. Marshall, anything else? Nothing further from the city judge. All right. Uh, Mr. Pearson, anything else? No. All right. All right. Well, I've listened to the evidence. Yeah. I've looked at the, the city ordinances. And uh, there are some things that you are absolutely correct on, Mr. Pearson, and there's, uh, I'll tell you in a, in a second here where things went south. Right, you have, you have the right, an absolute right, even though you called and asked for an ambulance response, you have the right to refuse treatment. No right. ifs, ands, or buts about that. You also, no one can force you, or you're not legally obligated to sign any documents in order to leave situation, okay? Yeah. So you're correct there. But where you went south with it is when you got up and physically forced your way out of the ambulance and pushed the officer. But I never I never pushed her. She but, let me go. But that was the testimony and that's the credible testimony that I believe is that you did push her in the course of that. You may have pushed her more than once, even if you pushed a paramedic and pushed the paramedic into the officer. And then there's a question, and I don't know if you kicked her leg or not. No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. And just for your education and knowledge, it is standard uh, police procedure uh, when a sergeant comes on the scene like that to take over and recommend and his, to his patrol folks underneath what charges will be uh, filed and what won't be. And no, you can't be charged for not signing a document. You don't have to sign that document. Nobody can make it. But again, where this went south was when you forced your way out of Hamilton instead of just sitting there and waiting and telling him I don't want to sign and letting him open the door. That's when you got up and, as you said, I saw my opportunity. That was my chance to get out. That's what you did. And, and 
then you even identified the situation and it's verified by the video that this was, in your words, a wrestling match. So uh, what, uh, match. what I mean by that is I, I, there was two against one, Your Honor. I, I, I know you made your decision already, but can I, can I please beg the court because I was not prepared today, and like I said, I need my medications. I'm, I'm, I understand that. You're on Suboxone for substance abuse issues? I'm on Suboxone, Xanax, okay. all that, and I, I and I just was not prepared right. today. And, uh, and can with I just. regard can, to the assault charge, I'm making a fine of guilty assessing a fine of $200. And on the resisting arrest charge, I'm making a fine of guilty assessing a fine of $200 plus cost. Okay? Mr. Marshall, you're free to withdraw. Uh, Thank you, Your Honor. All right, sir. If you go to the clerk's office and tell you how you Do I receive the fine, pay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you.